Okay, guys, quick little follow-up video. I had a question recently. Somebody was asking me what type of valve we're using on the uh, variable capacity tanks. So you can see here, this is the gasket. We obviously have not inserted the gasket. It would come through the side here. So the gasket would go like this. This valve would go on here. Then you got the hose, and then the hose connects to this barb over here for the pump. So these are... PEX tubing valves, which you can pick up at Home Depot. They're about $6.95, $7 a piece here in Chicago. This one happens to be a Apollo on-off lead-free uh, shut-off valve. They have shark bite and a couple other types of uh, PEX tubing valves. But you can see here, this is the valve that I got today at Home Depot, $6.95. Your other option, if you don't have PEX tubing supplies around you, is they make a quarter inch uh, MIP um, valve. I think it's an MIP valve, metal iron pipe. And basically you would then thread onto this a 3 8 inch barbed end. So parts wise, it would cost you about 12, about $12. So I'll post that as part of this video. So you could see the actual model numbers and whatnot that I that I found at Home Depot. But uh, this is the way we did it on our first tank, and this is the way we're going to do it on our next couple tanks. And we've had zero issue. We do pressurize up to about five bars of pressure. Uh, we've never had a blowout, other than a blowout meaning that the wine has came up and through other than when we've had drastic temperature changes, so, you know, 10, 15 degrees, and then you just simply, at some point, if you know you're going from winter to spring, you just float the lid again. Basically deflate it, and then float it, let it float on top of the wine, and then re-pressurize uh, uh, it, and you should be fine. The other time is when we are, we press off, we go into the tank, and we're still in malolactic fermentation, then we'll get a little bit of a blowout. Usually we lose about a cup or two of wine, maybe three, depending on the size of the tank. So, so that's it, guys. Hopefully this helps. Uh, use a PEX tubing valve.